of gems fast in overlook bay because that's the only um video i can think of so let's get started um so the first one i have to suggest once you enter the game you should pull out a pet because that could give you some gems from you can get to sell them and then get it for gems see you can grind a lot on that and i'm also hearing there's a big easter update coming so i suggest you save up for that and my other ch suggestion is going to work at the coastal cup job because that can get you a lot of gems too and yeah that's a really good idea you can also go fishing and mining and if you get a lot of those you can sell a lot of them and get a lot of gems from them depending how much rarity and stuff like that and a lot of the good trees are in the park, so if you just shake them, you can collect them after. You have to find them on the ground after you're done shaking them, so you can collect them. Okay. Um, leave a like on this video. I think I should do more videos with my voice. Because it is a lot of work to just keep on chatting in the game. So what I like to do is to go to the city by using fast travel. And then if you go over here near the pet exchange, you just keep on going. There's this little area if you see booty and that's where you're supposed to go. And if, as you can see, you can stay here all all day and stuff. And if you have other tasks then you can go off and you can also teleport to your home from fast travel and mining. Also, that's an excellent thing. As you can see you can bathe them and get their sleep. And for some reason, I can't. So, uh, also, if you're not as you know as lucky.
eventually. So my job is done. And according to all the points you have, if you have some certain amount of points, you get certain amount <coughs> of gems. So as you can see here, I got 100 and 10 plus points so I get 175 gems and usually if there's a manager they will um the person with the highest score will get employee of the day and they get <coughs> even more gems than what they actually get usually you, sh you should get a paycheck or something like this I don't know just a kid don't even know if this is a paycheck. I'm just gonna collect that and it just gives you a boost of gems. And yeah. Also, an awesome way is to sometimes save up for some food. And then you can get some food anywhere. Like I'm in Honey's Diner right now and you can just buy some food. And once you're out and you don't wanna, you just don't wanna go home having a rocking time, you can just feed your pet and then you'll get like 10 feet and 10 gems and that's a pretty good deal. Uh, there's nothing, I don't know any other hacks or things you can do to get more gems, but um, I do love to like, hang around with my friends and usually that just pass the time when you can do some role plays and if you have a task you can just do that task during the role play so it makes more fun like if you're so bored making that shiny or rainbow shiny you can get really bored while you're doing that so a fun way to do it is also by role playing and I'm going to show you quickly before I go what it's like to fish and what it's like to mine because I'm guessing some people don't know how to and that's completely fine like some starters for people that don't really do it. And also you can collect seashells and sell those over across there. You can go on the boat, then go to the selling place and then talk to the person and then click sell. All that stuff. I hope you guys know how to do that. But you just go into inventory, go into the second last icon. I don't know, it looks like a tool thing. Click on the baby blue rod or whatever fishing rod you have. Just go like that, throw it in the water, and then you wait a bit. You can hear that sound and then you have to try to hit the middle and depending where you land on you get a certain rarity like i just got the yellow tan it should end up in your inventory right at the last one the empty box so you can see i've collected all of these over the days i've been collecting them and you can go tell to mine so you just go let's go as you can see, you will land over here near Craze Cavern. Cavern, I don't know. But you're just gonna go in there, the black part. And then, as you can see, lots of gems around the place, lots of crystals. It looks like a cave. That's where you wanna go. You don't wanna be floating in thin air and land somewhere else, just this. And you want to go back in the tool thing and you want to go for baby blue pickaxe so you want to select that or whatever axe you have and then you want to click or well on mobile i tap the gem from an angle probably the same on computer i'm not sure and then once it's done like that you can tap that the hand and then you'll get the gem in that empty box again spirit rock that's what i just got and the best task one of the best tasks to have on your pets is actually the play fetch task 
because um, that one's probably, you can almost do it everywhere. But it gives you lesser gems, so I guess. Still, it's the easiest one to do. And this time, I can show you where to sell your gems. So, you can go to the crystal cavity, and then once you talk to C Kathy Crystal, like that. Hey, Castle Christine, what brings you to an Underlook Bay? Haha, <laughs> get it? Under instead of over because we're underground. What can I do for you? And then, if you want to sell some of your crystals, press sell. You have crystals to.